in Jesus Christ. This message that I'm going to give, brothers and sisters, really and truly, it's not my intended message because I have a message that I really want to give out, really and truly. But last night, I had a vision, very, very powerful, very busy vision, and it's only fair that I come to you and show you exactly from the parts that I can remember, <clears throat> sorry, what the Lord has shown me. So in this vision, I had this vision on the 24th, um, on the 24th of October, 2019. In this vision, brothers and sisters, I saw myself standing with an angel in a huge auditorium, so big, so, so big. I wasn't outside. I was inside this huge auditorium. When I began to look, brothers and sisters, in each corner of this auditorium, it was so busy. The first section, when I looked, I saw President Putin with a group of soldiers. And he was just, he was just standing there, you know, in this corner with his soldiers just standing. And I remember seeing UN written on these tanks because these soldiers, they were sitting on the tanks and Putin was like standing beside them. Then I looked in a different corner and I saw what appears to be a hospital. But the angel of the Lord let me know that this is FEMA. This is FEMA camp. And I saw people walking in this FEMA camp, you know, just walking in, in this FEMA. Then I looked to another section and I saw what appears to be a uh, war, civilian war, brothers and sisters. This, this was not, you know, country fighting against country or anything like that. This appears to be civilian war. People are just running away uh, from the police. Then I looked in another corner and it appears to be the sky. And I saw this huge, I mean, this was not the sun, brothers and sisters, what I'm looking at. This was just not the sun. It was dark in color because when I looked up in the sky, it wasn't pitch black. It was not black, really pitch black because I could see this massive, big, round object with a huge fire ring around it. And, and when I saw that, brothers and sisters, I was just literally, I was just taken back. Then the angel of the Lord said to me, come, I want to show you something. So I walked with him and he brought me into this room. Brothers and sisters, when I went into the room, the first thing that jumped out in me, I saw this black man lying on the bed and the angel of God said to me this is the antichrist this is the one world leader and when he said that to me I walked up and as I was walking up to this guy lying on the bed in my heart I said oh this is Obama but I didn't say it out like Oh, this is Obama. So the angel didn't hear me, but obviously he did. Because when I said in my heart, this is Obama, the angel said, yes, this is Obama. So when I walked up closer to Obama on the bed, brothers and sisters, I was so overwhelmed. Because when I began to look at Obama's face, he had no face. What do I mean by that? He, he had no facial features, he had no ears, he had no eyes, no nose, no mouth, no eyebrow, nothing, just the face, just literally, just literally the face, brothers and sisters, but the eyes and everything, the facial features, that was not there. And I turned around to the angel and I said, uh, he has no facial features. I said, what's happening to him? There's, there's nothing there. And the angel of God turned around to me and he said, he has no facial features because he is not 
been revealed to the world yet. So that is why you cannot see his facial, his facial, his facial features. Only those in the spirit will know who he is. And I said, oh, okay. So I turned my eyes back on Obama. And brothers and sisters, as I was looking at his face, his features began to fill in. Bit by bit, his nose was coming in, his eyes, his ears, his mouth, his eyebrow. They were just slowly, slowly coming in. And his face was forming to be Barack. And the angel uh, said, come. So I turned around with him and I was walking out the door. And I don't know what it is. I turned, <laughs> I turned back around to look one more time on Obama facial features just filling in. And as I turned around to look at Obama one more time, I saw in the corner some people coming out. And when they came out, this I don't know where they came from, but they opened a door and they came out. And they came, about three or four of them, and they came over Obama, and they said, Obama, it is almost time to get up. That's what they said to him, it is almost time to get up. And I looked at his face, and brothers and sisters, I would say it was 95% filled in, just 5% maybe to go before his whole face become Mark again. It was just filling in. And then I walked out the room with the angel back into the auditorium. Brothers and sisters, when I went back in the auditorium, everything that I described to you first before I went into the room, it was just exaggerated, meaning things just gotten bigger. So I saw President Putin this time, this time it was on his phone and he was pacing the floor up and down. Obviously I didn't, I couldn't hear what he was saying. And his army has gotten bigger. Just, it was so huge. And I looked beside his army and I saw the Chinese army with the Russian. But well, I didn't see the Chinese president. I just saw the soldiers. Obviously, I know who Chinese are because of the facial features and all of that. So they were with these soldiers and they had guns and they had a tank and they were like really militant, ready to go. Like, you know, this is war. And I saw Putin on his phone and he was just pacing the floor up and down and he was talking and his facial features, you know, like when someone is angry, his facial features, like he's just really, really angry, you know, ready to go sort of thing. Then I looked and I saw the hospital, which is the FEMA camp. Brothers and sisters, I looked in the FEMA camp and I saw these people. And I saw what appears to be doctors or nurses. I don't know who they are, but just say doctors and nurses. But they were they had some in, uh, needles in their hands. And I saw these people sitting on the chair ready for this. I'm going to say the mark of the beast because that's what it is, a chip to be implanted. And as I go closer, some of these people, they had to make a choice. And in my spirit, I saw this one guy and he was like, I don't know what to do because if I don't take this mark, I can't feed my children. I cannot buy food. I cannot pay for the rent. So I have to take it. I, he was saying that. He was like, I have to take this trip because I have to survive. Then I, had, then I saw other people who were crying, who were like, you know, I don't really want this. I really don't want this injection. I don't want this mark in my hands. But I have no choice. So it was like a choice, brothers and sisters. When it comes to the mark of the beast, it will be a choice. You will not be forced. Because what I saw in this vision, they were not forced. They were choosing. All these people were sat in the chair in this hospital or FEMA camp. Uh, you know, they had a choice. They, they, they choose the mark. Then I saw something which um, I didn't see before I went to the room. I saw what appears to be, I'm going to say these are angels, because what came in my spirit was the days of Lot. Remember Sodom and Gomorrah, when God sent his angels to go and get Lot? Obviously, the angels were human beings, because the uh, Sodomites wanted to sleep with these men, and the Bible called them men. So obviously they look human. 
And I saw these angels of God completely human. They had no wings or anything. You couldn't tell they were angel unless the Holy Spirit tells you that these are the angel of God or they verbally say it. But I saw these angels of God and brothers and sisters knowing they're in a rush. They're like, come on, we got to go. Come on, come on. They were they were like ushering people into what appears to be a wooded land. So I thought to myself, oh, this is the wilderness. This this is the event. Because they were hushing all these people, mothers with young babies, young children, so many people that were just, come on, we have to go. We have to go now, now, now. And they were just, and I just saw this huge, like a woodland sort of thing. And they were just rushing people. It was just so quick, brothers and sisters, so fast, so quick, like imminent danger were coming and they had to go. And obviously I saw the sky again and this huge, massive planetary body was just sitting there in the sky brothers and sisters and everything just got so busy it was just it was just so busy and remember i told you about the civil war because i saw that and that got worse i mean when i left to go into the room there was just you know a few little fighting but this was on a, this was really really bad what i was seeing and it was just in corners where the Lord was just showing me. Everything was just in different corners. But I don't know which event is going to come first, even though I said this and this and this.